Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be testing out the Ordinary Foundation. Now this is, I've had this for a while and I haven't touched it yet because I really wanted to film this video. And as you can see the box is totally damaged now because I can't look after stuff. <laughs> um, but anyway, now I've got around to filming it, I want to see how it wears. So I've got mine in the shade 2.1Y uh, medium and this is meant to be a full coverage foundation. It's called the, the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. It's a high coverage foundation formula and yeah, it's got SPF 15 in. It's just a shake before use. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I've heard of mixed reviews on this. I've heard some people really like it. I've heard some people don't at all. So we shall see where I fall amongst all of that madness. So I'm just gonna prime my skin using the Too Faced Hangover Primer as I would normally. I have just filmed a video as well, so if the eye makeup looks the same as one of my pre previous ones, that will explain why. But it's just because, well, why not? So I'm just gonna grab my Zoeva Silk Finish Foundation Brush and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two pumps on depending on how much comes out. Yeah, let's go for two-ish. And I don't even know if the color is okay for me. It's very yellow, but I did choose a yellow one, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, it is very, very yellow. I could do with being slightly, slightly more tanned to wear this, but the lighter shade is far too light for me. I know that because I ordered the lighter shades and um, they just weren't gonna work, so. This is kind of all I've got really. As far as coverage goes, I can still see my skin through it. It does feel nice. It feels really fluid and spreadable. But, and to me, I really like that in a foundation. I hate when you put it on and you have to drag it over the skin. I can see my skin through it, which I don't like. Not for full coverage. I expect to not see my skin. I want it to be lightweight, but I don't want to actually see, you know, pigmentation and blemishes and things like that. So let's try it on the forehead. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it out there. This definitely isn't full coverage based on, I mean, I use two pumps, but based on one coat, it's not full coverage at all. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more, say three quarters of a pump, and I'm gonna try and go over that, see if it makes it any more co um, full coverage. Okay, so I've put it on completely. As you can see, it's a lot more yellower than my chest and my neck, which, wow, a lot, <laughs> a lot. So that's not ideal. But anyway, I'm gonna go in with the rest of my skin. I'm not gonna talk through it. I'll just sort of speed it up. Okay, so I finished the rest of my makeup and the foundation looks pretty good now. Um, looks fine, doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel cakey or anything. Um, the coverage is okay now that I've put more on. Colour's still a little bit off, but there's nothing I can do about that. So yeah, so far so good. I will check in later and let you know how I get on with it and how it's lasted. I'm going out a little bit later and I might potentially vlog as well. I don't know. So, um, We'll see how it goes. So I'll see you in a little while. Okay, so it's now, I think it's half past eight and I've done everything I need to do for the day. Excuse the mess behind me. But you can see my cat there as well in the mirror. <laughs> so the verdict is I actually really like this foundation. I think it looks really nice still. And I've done a lot of stuff. Like I've been to the dentist, the coverage has stayed put. So when I was first working with it, I found it quite difficult to get the coverage. But once I have, it's actually not shifted at all, like my makeup hasn't moved, it stayed in place really nicely, so very impressed with that. Um, I definitely would wear it again. I think the colour could be a little bit better for me, or maybe I need to be a bit darker for the colour, but you know what I mean. So the verdict is, I do really like it, and for £6, I don't even know if I mentioned that at the beginning, but it's £6 of foundation, so for £6, I am very impressed, and I do think it's definitely worth it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and like this kind of video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!